it's HNT here, and we're going to be doing another Xcode Basics tutorial, and today we're going to do a NS bundle load nib command. This will tell button, or whatever you want, in Interface Builder to open a new window or a new interface file. So we're going to be showing the code and how to link it to something in Interface Builder, preferably a button. So first, you're going to need you need to start a new project, and you need two classes, the H file and M file and you need a new um, interface file, so it's xib or nib. Okay, so let's start. First you're going to go to your h file you created, and you're going to declare the action. So we're going to do dash ib action, and we're going to name it whatever we want, we're just going to name it foo. ID sender and then curly bracket. No, oh, wait, so that's an M file and it's end. You can do that. And now we're gonna go to the M file. Okay, and we're gonna read your colors. So we just, you could type it over, but it's just a big mess to type it over, so we're just going to go and copy and paste it over here. curly bracket and you know, you can type a comment here preferably you should add a comment so if you're going to like long scripts it's better to do this so we're just going to do slash slash comment goes here and then you just have if and in brackets you can write exclamation mark square bracket and as bundle bundle load nib named semicolon wait oh at there so in these two quotation marks you put in you're gonna put the name of your nib you want to load so here we got it and it's called win2 we want to load the win2 interface file on this x code from there we want to load the win2 x so we're gonna type in win Two. Okay. After you've done that, you're gonna type in owner self and then brackets and then bracket. And then you're done. And then you can end it. And you're done. You've done that. And now that you've done the main code around it, you're gonna want to link it to a button or something in the interface builder. So you're gonna go to your main code. We need to this file. I'm going to delete that. I'll just let it load. I'm going to go on to library. Let update. Okay, so we're going to load up library. You can type in object. Wait for the object to open. And we're going to drag it into here. And from here, we're going to link. Where is that? This is Xcode 4 is very annoying. Oh, right there. Okay, over here, you're going to type in the name of the class where you declared the action. So here it's called my class. And now we're gonna go to place a button, so we're gonna link the new entity to a button. So button. And write that button. And I'll just name it randomly anything. Okay. Open. New nib. Enter. Now we're gonna go to connections, and you're gonna click my class subject that you just put in, and it's right there. It appears the new food declare option just declared, and you're gonna drag it over to the button. 
And that's it. You have finished it. And now I'm just going to go over here. Wing 2 is opening. Okay, we're good with that. Okay, so now I'm going to run the application. Let it run. Let it build. Building. All this code is obviously available on our Google Code page. You can just download it from the link in the description. And there you are. Now when we click the open new nib file, it should open up a new file. As you got there. There you are. This should work. You didn't see it because it appeared on the other side of the page. And it appeared. Now if you cancel it. Just cancel it. It should appear again. See? It works. So, now that I have finished this, and just, this can be useful in many cases. Um, video games, menus. So just, this is basically the basic stuff you should learn when you start using Objective-C. This is HMT Inc. for the Software Studios. Thank you for watching.